Kurdish struggle has often been undermined from within. In 1994, a civil war erupted between Kurdistan's two political factions, the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, or PUK, and the Kurdistan Democratic Party, or KDP. In the 1990s, unfortunately, we fell into a civil war. And this is what I would describe as the darkest period of our history. We have faced many, many atrocities at the hands of our enemies, but this was a period where Kurds were killing Kurds. One of the fundamental characteristics of the KDP is their relationship to Turkey. The PUK, on the other hand, the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan, they have a much closer relationship with Iran. They had a very ugly and stupid civil war between these two Kurdish parties. That was a fight between parties that the civilian population never understood and really abhorred. They got through that. They found that they couldn't kill each other off and they had to make compromises. For many in Kurdistan, a real sense of national unity remains distant. People complain of nepotism and corruption in the Kurdish government, reflecting old grudges. I've met a lot of people, a lot of younger Kurds, who feel quite alienated from the government. And the way that they express that is to say, why does it have to be a Barzanian power? If they are talking about it being a democracy, shouldn't there be somebody else who can really offer a challenge to the Barzani leadership? What we're seeing is the beginning of a generational transition uh, in the Kurdish areas as well, as a new generation of leaders will have to step forward and start taking responsibility for the future of their country. Peshmerga forces remain largely divided along PUK and KDP lines, with few signing up for the united military units. Historically, the Peshmerga were aligned to one or other of the parties, and the two main parties, KDP and the PUK, each have their own Peshmerga. There are historic reasons for this. Those parties were underground movements fighting Saddam Hussein, and they had their own forces. There was a lot of soul searching when the Peshmerga kind of got their their butts handed to them a little bit in the beginning when ISIS, when there was that first front. I think they've kind of rallied a little bit more. It's shown that they still haven't unified these commands and that these fighters who are defending Iraqi Kurdistan are still really loyal to commanders who are loyal to certain parties.